Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shosni Mimi where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel if you snooze you do what? Well. You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a fat long thing? Kindly pause right there, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. So, guys. Kosi has been feeding us back to back with coffee with Kosi with your faves, right? And you know, Jared and Els and Nest. <laughs> hey, can you feel that? Jared and Els and Nest. Yes, they are Nest to be on coffee with Kosi. Meanwhile, talking about Jared, Riem. See, I don't know if it is just me. To me, I feel it is quite unfair the kind of drags that boy is getting. Do you know why I say so? Jared never lied to any of those ladies in the house. Mm. he did not lie to anybody he actually showcased his true self that he is a cheat he is not staying in a place but the ladies decided to stay pute so the way people are dragging him calling him names i do not find that funny because he do not deserve now nah. i am not saying whatever he did was good no ways but at least the ladies has the choice to step out I don't know if you guys get me. They really have the choice to do what to step out. So um, I think he's trying his best in all of his interviews to explain himself of how the ladies have people outside and expecting him to be a serious boyfriend. Anyways, maybe one of these days we'll talk more about his interview. But he has gone on a blocking spray. Yes. As you can see, people are so surprised. <laughs> I didn't even say anything yet and they've received block. Why would you not receive block when you people have been coming for this boy? The kind of things they've been wishing him. Oh my word. Like, it is not funny. It is ne really not funny because I keep asking the people that would have... Okay, maybe if this boy have been doing some hide and seek thingy, I would have said, okay, yeah, maybe you can drag him. But he was not hiding himself. He was being real. He would stay in um a girl's face, a girl he calls his girlfriend and be kissing another pop and play without hiding it anyways um the other person that has also been on block his prayer is lerato modese someone please tag lerato account so i can tell her that she is the one watching yolanda from home i tag her as, and this will happen what is she gonna do about it nothing that is actually yolanda's slangs so guys lerato you guys know what's up now how they've been coming for her in fact she living in the house was expecting she would go out and see maybe a full load of you know fans actually cheering her up but rather she would come out seeing people dragging her not like she doesn't have her fan base but they are few to compare to people dragging her so why would she not block to protect your peace of mind you have to do what block that is why the block button is actually there i guess she's reading all the tweets because she blocked me as well and i never even tagged her on anything <laughs> <laughs> so you guys don't know the social space is actually a small world the more you say all these things about those people they see them they see your tweets they see your messages so i think for their own peace of mind they have to do the blocking imagine she posted and said god's plan is always the right plan thank you very much to everyone who supported us we never prepared for this eventuality please let's keep calm and be patient we will communicate any development as we try navigate this process please stay strong for lerato modise this was her handler who posted this after she left the house yesterday this kind of post what you're supposed to see is sympathizers right people who are sympathizing with her or showing empathy but none of that was there i was scrolling up and down to actually see people who would say oh sorry dear it is a hard luck for you oh sorry there we wish you well all i was seeing are things like this people making funny thingy as kylie said the head is in comments quotes you all could not pretend like guys hey <laughs> omo if Lerato is going through all this, what will Papa Goes do when he leaves the house? Because, guys, it is not funny. I was scrolling and all I was seeing was funny thinking on her comments. Oh, no, how did this happen? Stay strong, Sana, and watch Yolanda from home. You see, even the people who you think 
are actually concerned or showing their sympathy or empathy, they are indirectly sobbing her, dissing her. Like, it is not funny and you expect her not to do block. Like, she's not block. Purposeable. You have been evicted. Like, with funny... <laughs> with funny, what's it called? Funny stickers, you know. They, they lit out the comment section with Yolanda's video, especially the one they had the last time where she said, you have to put your best foot forward after Mitch left the house. You know, that was looking like a mockery to Yolanda. You know, they were posting it all over her comment section. Yo, you deserve it, shame. Best eviction for the most evil person in the house. Mpumis go go do this one. Cleanse your heart, baby girl. You are very pretty to have such an evil heart. At last, she left. I will have sweet dreams as she was supposed to leave yesterday. Her Happiness landed to Mitch Mazibuko. You know, people are just. <laughs> well, how I be like bicycle? If you go into that baby's house and you're not favored to have amazing fan base and then your personality is being questioned, or more, you would have to deal with it like no cap. You just have to deal with it. Anyways, guys, let's move, let's move on to the next one. So, um, this morning, I do not know if you guys were watching. What is his name again? Sinaya, Yolanda, and um, Z had a bit squash, you know, amongst each other. I've noticed something about Yolanda's team. I mean, team Sinaya, Yolanda, Liema, and Mpumi. People always complain about their team when it's their turn to take care of the house, you know. I don't know how this started off, but the next thing I know is about frying of egg and not frying of egg. And if there is one housemate that is being called a furniture because she's barely into any controversial stunts in the house, is Z. She's one housemate that likes staying her day. She likes staying on her own, you know. But this time around that this happened, I was so surprised to see. You know, after the argument was happening, it was mainly with Yolanda and um Z. You know, Sinai was just a supporting character for to Yolanda. Now, here is the thing. Sinai went confiding in um Liema, telling Liema how everything happened and how she jumped on him, you know, started, you know, shouting at him and all of that. You know, and then Later on, Yolanda went to apologize to Z because she realized she overreacted. Because the way she came for Z was actually not cool. That was what me I felt, right? You're also free to tell me what you feel in the comment section. You know, on my channel, it is a free word. You're to say yours. Why I tell you what I think, right? Uh huh. Nobody is hold on their neck or held on their neck about a, a certain perception on what happened, you know. So after Yolanda apologized to Z, Yolanda also spoke to Sinai and told Sinai to approach Z, have conversation with her that they are at fault. You know, that she was the one who, you know, started first at Z. Then Sinai supported Yolanda, even putting imputing his mouth in it. So, while they had that conversation, people are just saying that there is this love thingy amongst Sinai and Z. That ever since they tried to start something and it didn't work, that these two have a genuine love for each other. But because it do not work, so they are having connection clash. How would I put it? A love clash. So, do you think there is love brewing between Sinai and Z, just like people were saying? Or you think, because I noticed of recent, they've been dissing each other, directly or indirectly. I just told you guys, the one Z was, was actually shunning him off whenever he tried to make a joke. I just said that one time again. Was it like four days ago? I cannot remember. But I know I spoke about it here. You know me now. One thing with me is, as it hurts, I would always bring it back to back to have a conversation with you guys. So, do you think love is the problem between Sinai and Z and Z sorry and then Michelle said Sinai and Z actually caught feelings for each other and somehow know it can't happen how are they fighting over petty things like this exactly my point because it is quite unnecessary they be for necessary things anyways let me know what you think about that while we enter this next one guys Yolanda would always be extra when you hear Yolanda, I think the next word on your mind should be extraordinary. Other people would do something normal. <laughs> Yolanda would do abnormal, like her own would be different. Why am I saying all of this? We all know how today has been. It has been their parents visiting, you know, one after the other. Now it was Yolanda's turn, you know. The mom walked in through that beautiful door, you know. And then she was singing. There's this song Yolanda always sing whenever any house between the arena tax. You know, la 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 la. So the mom walked in singing that song. You know, baby girl standing 
<laughs> God. <laughs> she was actually, when Biggie told them to freeze, she was in this room downstairs. So when she saw the mom coming out from that door, she ran. She wanted to go and hug her. And do not forget, freeze means do not move. Do not even move your eyes. Remember Papa Ghost, um, what was his name? Mark Jr., Lerato Modise, Makeke were given a serious punishment because of the shake during their face your faith that, uh, week. Now, that was not even a motivation to Yolanda and now she has even done the worst. She really wanted to hug the mom because the parents were told do not have any point of contact with the kids. Just talk to them without touching them, without giving them a hug, not even a peck. You get? So that's why the parents were actually far away from the... Like, when they get close to them, they would not even touch them. So while Yolanda was trying to run to go hug her mom, the mom stepped backward. I think that was when it got to her head that truly they are not supposed to, you know, do anything. So she fell flat on the floor. She started crying seriously, like seriously, so deep. My baby girl was crying with her face on the ground. The mom was speaking the language Mimi Shosley, Mimi could not understand. And I would sincerely, genuinely love if there is anybody who would translate everything the mom said in a nutshell for me, you know, in the comment section so that I will understand. Because all the while the parents have been coming, I've been hearing everything. They've been dishing the words of advice to the housemates, you know. So, but Yolanda's mom on, I did not hear it. You get. So, somebody should actually, you know, summarize it for me. Tell me what Yolanda mom said because she was speaking their language and I could not get one bit, you know. So, while she was speaking to her, Yolanda was still trying to stretch her hand. Like, she was trying to stretch her hand to touch her mom. The mom was still stepping backward while talking to her, you know. So, after that happened, the mom left, you know. And then people were like, oh, no, this is surely going to be a strike for Yolanda because she just disrespected Big Brother, but to me, I feel it's going to be a punishment for her. Like, at the same time, these husbands are going through a lot. It's not easy telling them not to react while, when they, their loved one comes into the house. In a house where, where they've been going through a lot. At the same time, all those that have been freezing are not fools. It's not like they don't want to hug their mom. It's not like they don't want to do anything. But to me, I feel it's going to be a punishment. What do you think, guys? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think it's going to be a strike or a punishment for Yolanda? Let's operate in the comment section because I will be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Bye for now, babies.